What's up everybody, this is Tim with Bass Rich Fishing and this is Brands We Trust. So today we're going to be talking about battle baits. Battle baits started out west by a gentleman named Flint Pierce who does custom jigs. Um, he started out doing custom jigs and now he pretty much mass produces these jigs all in his garage by, by himself, hand tied skirts, wire tied skirts, uh, really cool stuff. Uh, and it's stuff that we have used a lot here at Bass Roots Fishing and we really trust them so we want you guys to know about them. So the first one we're going to talk about today is the Brigade Blade. All right. So you can see here the Brigade Blade is different in a way that it's not just your standard bladed jig. All right, this has your standard blade on the front and it is a flat blade, which is a little different than some because most want to have a curve on the front of it. But this one's flat for a reason. Uh, past that, you have a prop on the front of an actual jig head uh, rather than having an arky style or a ball style head. Um, and then that's followed by a really nice stout hook. Uh, normally come in three, four, or five aught hooks depending on the size of the jig head. And of course, that awesome hand tied skirt. All right. Now, what we like about this bait the most is that with most chatter baits and bladed bladed jigs, when you put it in the water, you got to work it a little bit. All right. Before it even starts making any kind of noise, you got to work it a little bit. You got to find that perfect rhythm. That's not true with this one. With this one, sorry, we got a little bit of rock. <laughs> so with this one, as soon as it hits the water, just the slightest movement is going to make that blade just shake its face off pretty much. And if the blade isn't shaking, you've got that prop right behind it that's gonna spin, and then that blade will pick up right behind it. So it's one of those things that you can actually jig it like a jig and get the benefits of a chatterbait with a jig. So we're gonna show you how it works in the water. All right, so it's got some weight to it, so it does have a really good casting distance to it. And as you're reeling it, you know, just a slight movement of the rod, just that little slight jigging, you can feel it vibrate. So you know it's working right from the start. Like I said, not with the other bladed jigs where you gotta kinda crank, crank, crank to get it started and find that rhythm. This has a rhythm right off the bat. So I can feel it and I can hear it the moment that I start turning the dial here. It's just, it just keeps going and going and going from start to finish. And if I wanna stop it, it's gonna stop of course, then I just lift right back up, just slight lift, and it's shaking all over again. Unlike most chatter baits or most bladed jigs that you're gonna have to crank again for a few more times before it starts going. And this is not a, a trick of the camera. You see, I'm, I'm just cranking, slowly cranking, and you can see that rod just a bouncing. And if you look in the water, you see it's doing its job of shaking. All right, so that's why I like this one more than any other. It's just, it sets a new standard for bladed jigs in my opinion. I think honestly, if you're gonna be using a bladed jig, you need to be using this one. So now I'm gonna turn it over to Zach and he's gonna tell you about his favorite battle bait. What's up y'all, Holland Bass TV here with Bass Roots Fishing today and the bait that I will be talking about today is the Drop Dead Ned by Battle Baits. This thing is absolutely amazing in my opinion for a couple different reasons. One, when them fish are really finicky and you need to downsize your jig, this is a very good option because it's really just a finesse jig but it's very light. It does still have a single wire weed guard and it does have the light wire hook. So you don't need a real big um, rod or reel setup to throw this. You can actually throw it on a spinning reel and that's what I prefer to throw it on. The two sizes that these actually come in is one eighth and one quarter. So I prefer one quarter when it's out deep, 10, 12, even out to 15 to 20 feet. It gets down there, it gets down there quickly, but yet you can work it like a finesse bait on the bottom down there. The one eighth I prefer when those fish get really finicky to pitch up near shore cover like lay downs or even uh, grass and other types of cover like docks. Docks is really good when you have 
um, docks and this finesse bait, that eighth of an ounce, it falls a little bit slower. It sits in their face a little bit longer than that quarter ounce would, and it's a really good way to get bites, I promise. And the best thing about this thing, when you're fishing docks with this, you can skip this thing a mile. It's absolutely amazing how far you can skip this thing up under a dock. The best way that I actually really like fishing this is offshore. When those fish get really finicky after you've cranked through there, you've thrown a uh, big Texas rig or a big worm through there, I actually go back and I drag this through there. It's a lot smaller presentation, it's a little bit more finessey, and it gets bites. And it doesn't just get small bites, it catches some big fish. We were at the Tar River and on most rivers you actually want to downsize. Instead of throwing a full size jig, I was throwing this all day and we put quite a few fish in the boat. They had some good size to them and it was a good day. Thank you.